Hey guys, so I figured I'd look at the cryptocurrency job market and give you my two cents from the perspective of somebody who hires programmers all the time. And uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so I've jumped over to this website called Glassdoor. And Glassdoor is a job site. This is glassdoors.ca, so it's in Canada, but it applies to anywhere in the world, I would imagine. Well, especially North America, Europe. All right, so let's look at blockchain full stack developer. Who are Sky Guys and Defiant Labs? Sky Guys is a fast growing provider of industrial and governmental unmanned aerial vehicles, really, services and technology. Since founding in 2015, old company. Uh, the Sky Guys have logged more than 14,000 flights and served more than 600 clients. See, that's something new. I would never expect it to hear blockchain and uh, UAVs in a job description. But, you know, description of role and work. Blockchain full stack developers responsible for developing the first prototype of a drone based cryptocurrency based on unused storage among drone service providers across North America. They must have a solid foundation core blockchain programming, e.g. C++, Java, as well as related languages such as Python, Node, Python, Perl, Node, JS. Skills in data encryption and front-end programming will be an asset. They must also be comfortable working in a fast-paced team with minimal direction, exercising initiative, adaptability, and communication skills with specific engineering staff. Creativity, hard work, and perseverance will be necessary on a daily basis. Uh, I'll translate that into a visual. I'll translate that visually. No, I'm just kidding. Comment, quick comment. Any type of startup business, and I guess a two-year-old business would qualify as a startup business, uh, they're going to work you. They're going to work you pretty hard, so you have to understand that. So typically, when you go work for a startup, there's going to be some option for equity, meaning you can catch some of the growth, some of the uh, gains if the company should grow. Now, the situation in that regard with any startup business, most of them fail. So keep that in mind. So typically, when you go work for a startup, you're going to work really hard. You're going to be paid a little less than normal, and there typically won't be a payoff, even for the founders. Typically, there isn't. It's just it's just a statistic. I'm not saying don't do it because it could be very rewarding, a lot of fun. You can see from the inside how startup grows, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Competencies and experience: minimal formal education, bachelor's degree in computer engineering, computer science, or related subjects uh, are also welcome to apply. Uh, so here, it's interesting. Here's a job in cryptocurrency, full stack developer. And they basically say right away, in terms of competence and experience, minimum formal education, meaning they don't really care too much. But they say, if you do have a degree in computer engineering, blah, 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 you can also apply. You're welcome to apply. See, that's something I've been telling you for a long time on my vlogs. For many, many jobs out there in the technology space, they don't care about degrees. They just care about skill sets. So how do you illustrate skill sets? Well, you show them what projects that you've built. Uh, you sh you're going to get interviewed. You're going to have to discuss deep level uh, aspects about a programming language or about your knowledge in terms of the environment in which they're operating in. That's a huge part about this whole thing is being able to demonstrate your skills. Now, when I say you should be able to show projects, that doesn't mean you should take just project-based courses. You know my general opinion about that is that project-based courses, they should be the last step in your education process because the big problem with all these project-based courses that you see out there is they don't teach the core programming. And that's so important. That's more important than anything else because once you have the core programming, it's easy for you to bang out a project. So what I suggest, you take a good co core programming course and uh, you know, in full disclosure, that's what I teach. And that's what that's my unique proposition out there, if you will. So many courses out there, well, the vast majority don't teach the core, they don't teach it properly. And the project based courses kind of dance around these type of things. And I get so many students that come to me, having where they've tried to do the free courses out there or the paid paid project courses, and they don't have a full understanding of things and not sure how to proceed. But if you do my core training, then all of a sudden all these project-based courses become super easy. In fact, in my Python career paths modules, two and three, where I get, teach you the career paths and I teach um, uh, Python specializations, 
I get into that where I show you now that you have the core training from the Python course, you can go to any of the free step-by-step walkthroughs of, you know, I, a lot of these project-based courses, they're not really, they're not teaching, they're just walking you through steps. It's not teaching. But once you have the core, then the walkthroughs, a lot of free ones on the web out there on YouTube, then all of a sudden they become really easy uh, to, to go through. So instead of spending 20 hours trying to go through a walkthrough or a project-based course, you'll do it in like a couple hours. It'll be like this. That's the whole point of learning the core. It's something that I got in um, boxing. When I was doing boxing and martial arts, my boxing teacher was an amazing coach, had uh, an amateur record of 77 and 2. And if anybody is a fighter knows, that's like stellar. It's world class. And before we would get in the ring, we spent a few months just making sure we had our core body mechanic and technique down with boxing. And then we would get in the ring and only in controlled environments with him. And, uh, and this is me coming to boxing with lots and lots of experience as a fighter. So even though I had tons of experience, I still had to really learn my core of boxing before I jumped into the ring. Same thing with programming. You should learn your core first before you jump into the ring. But the irony is that if you learn your core first, it's just much faster to get to where you want to get. Anyway, let's get back to this. So, yeah, competencies, uh, minimum formal education. But if you have a degree, you can also apply. Key traits of the candidate. You are high energy, adaptable, resourceful, reliable, analytical, team-minded, and outstanding problem solver. <laughs> I love these... Uh, I love these job listings, uh, the key traits. Uh, do I have high energy? I have a lot of coffee, I have a lot of high energy, so yeah. Am I adaptable? Sure, pay me enough, I'll be adaptable. Resourceful, I guess. Reliable, I do water my plants on a regular basis. Analytical, yeah, team-minded, sure. An outstanding problem solver. You value collaboration and can articulate the challenges, benefits, and key skills needed for working with others versus independently. I want you to pay attention to, I'm going to read off several more of these requirements here. I want you to pay attention to an underlying theme, communication skills. So let's go with this. Next one. You have a growth and continuous development mindset that applies to your personal development, your skills, quality of work, and the teams you work in. Teams you work in. To work within teams, you need communication skills. Next point. When faced with a challenge, you can devise follow a plan with minimal oversight. That's having confidence in your skills. Again, that comes down to understanding the core of the languages that you study, regardless of the language, whether it be Python, JavaScript, C++, whatever. It's having that core deep understanding. That will give you the confidence to be able to figure out how to solve the problems. You're not afraid of working hard for the sake of something greater than yourself. That's something that I think a lot of young entrepreneurs don't get. Uh, this line here exemplifies this, exemplifies this. You are not afraid of working hard for the sake of something greater than yourself. So they figure they're going to sell their project of uh, writing uh, using crypto, using blockchain in uh, UAVs as being a project like they liken it to some sort of religious uh, pilgrimage or something or some sort of greater calling. Note to young entrepreneurs, young startup owners, if you want your employees to have uh, the sense of working hard for the sake of something greater than yourself, you have to give them a little skin, you know? You have to give them a little, uh, little taste of equity. Otherwise, why would they want to bust their butts to build your business? Okay, soft skills experience. Excellent English oral and written communication skills. Again, Communication skills. Once you have your core programming, you got to get into communication skills. That's so important. Excellent organizational personal management skills. Managing timelines, requirements, planning out work. Ability to work independently or in small teams, one to ten people. Does one person in a team qualify as a team? Ability to embrace and contribute positively to high performance culture. What does that mean? You're going to work really, really hard. The whipping again. The ability to learn, apply new information skills quickly and with little guidance to advance project goals. Again, 
comes down to having confidence in your core knowledge of programming in general. Doesn't matter what language. Once you have the core, for instance, of Python, you understand the basic principles there. You understand the basic principles of all of the modern programming languages. Keep that in mind. It says here, uh, ability to learn, apply new information and skills quickly with little guidance to advance the project goals. That suggests having a, a broader understanding of the business model, if you will. It uh, means having more than just an understanding of syntax and how to build a shopping cart or how, how to write a, an AI module, if you understand what I'm saying. That's one of the other points that I emphasize is that so many courses are very syntax oriented. Syntax is just a code that you write. They don't get into the underlying concepts and the underlying, the infrastructure, if you will, that the code is actually manipulating, the code is actually working on. That is so important. That's why even with my HTML course, where, I, you know, it's, a, it's the simplest of, of the computer languages out there, really, I get into the infrastructure behind HTML. That's HTTP, that's the web, that's the response, request response cycle, servers and clients. Just knowing what an HTML tag is or jump into programming, just know what a function is or variable is, is not learning how to code. It's learning syntax, it's learning snippets. You have to un understand the underlying concepts behind all these technologies so that then you can act upon them. I think that's a reference there. Technical skills and experience. Basic knowledge of the steps, design criteria, sources of risk, and common approaches to the end-to-end -end engineering design process back and forth for back-end or cloud software. This goes back to having understanding the big picture. One to three years, including, including courses, co-curricular and work experience, experience and back-end development tools. Again, you can demonstrate this out of a course by just getting an entry-level job somewhere if you want to go work for somebody, starting to do some freelance work here and there, do a couple of stages, etc. I talk about this in my Python modules two and three with the career choices. Relevant design, relevant design experience includes design development in C++ or Java, hands-on experience with JavaScript, Node, Perl, Python, <laughs> implementing UI, UX for content management, data visualizations, account management, and billing, development of Bitcoin or Ethereum-based blockchain currencies, development of data compression, encryption, or other big data-related technology, testing analysis, design recommendations related to computational performance and user experience. The following types of design experience will be held in high regard. Startup, university design team, capstone projects, research these Oh, excuse me, research thesis, industry, industry, particular in aerospace, robotics, drones, automotive uh, application process. So they get into it. So this is a typical listing for a job. You see they're listing every possible thing you could possibly want. Don't worry. It's not realistic that you know everything here. Nobody does. You just need to come in with certain key knowledge. So for this job, for instance, I would get in there and, and show that I have a deep understanding of program, I mean, programming, whether it be with JavaScript or Python or Java or C++, depending on how you want to work in this particular space. The C++ developers in this company are doing different work than the JavaScript guys and girls or the Python people. So you can walk in, for instance, with just some Python skills, having that core knowledge, demonstrate one or two apps that you built in Python, then having an overall understanding. Well, you do a little research about cryptocurrency, blockchain, and UAV, and just so you, you know what's going on in that space, look, at, look up some information about this company, see what they're doing. So when you walk in to talk to them, you will be informative in terms of what they're doing, which shows that you're taking initiative. Also, you have you, sh you demonstrate you have deep skills in programming. You, you, you just didn't do a bunch of projects, but you did the core training and you know how to write code, and you know what code is actually doing, then, because um, they'll, they'll ask you about that, and you can ask them questions as well. So, you know, what are you implementing? What are you doing with C++? Ask them that. Say, what are you doing with Python? Are you doing server automation with Python? What's the, what's the role of Python in your organization? And if they say to you, yeah, we may have some people who want to do Java, I said, that's fine. I said, you know, I, I don't know Java now, but because I have really good training in Python, I'll be able to do the Python. I'll be able to jump over to Java pretty quickly. So yeah, let's look at another job listing here. Blockchain, eh, Deloitte Toronto, let's see that, Deloitte, that's interesting. 
All right. Service Consulting, Job Type Permanent, Toronto. All right. Be part of cutting-edge technology innovation at Deloitte. Our blockchain practice promises to fundamentally alter the infrastructure that powers the economic, social, and political operating systems of the planet. We are hard at work shaping the future of Adena. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's look at the... Um, Okay, let's look at the qualifications. Good to have. Six years experience driving revenue growth for B2B startup sector. Experience in, pol in positive track record of building businesses. Okay, this is more of a marketing end of thing, so this is not for us. Let's go out of here. E-wise people in more than 150 countries are committed to operating with integrity, quality, and professionalism. Three to five years experience, professional experience in development of enterprise applications or decentralized peer-to-peer -peer applications, knowledge of blockchain technologies and concepts, strong analytical and creative thinking skills, must be a team player comfortable with Scrum Agile method. Okay, so this is a coding job. Um, experience in the following, must be strong in object-oriented programming languages such as Java, C, Ruby, Python, etc. You see what I mean? Doesn't matter what language these guys know. If you've got a good solid understanding of the core, regardless of the language, you will be able to jump into the next one. It doesn't matter. Strong knowledge of Node preferred along with React, Meteor, Python, etc. Again, it's not expected you know all these things. If you know your core programming, Python, you can go in there and learn Node. But if, for instance, if you did my PHP course where I teach server-side programming, I teach request response, stateless nature, and web, and then you do my JavaScript course, for you to learn Node will be like, boop, easy, because the concepts are the same, and it's just easy to transfer the knowledge. Next point, Ethereum-specific knowledge will be an added advantage. Go, Solidity, Ethereum, and experience with a Miss Wallet, Mixed ID, and open source Ethereum clients. Again, if you wanted to get into the space, you would just go and learn these things. And once you know core programming, these things become easy to, to get your head wrapped around. Cryptographic techniques such as hash, symmetric key encryption, public key encryption, etc. RDBMS concepts, SQL, NoSQL databases, GitHub, ID environments, Eclipse, IntelliJ ID, and others. You know, strong knowledge, strong knowledge of Unix, Linux, cloud infrastructure management. Again, Azure, Amazon, IBM, Bluemix, etc. General system networking. Again, a typical resume where they list a whole bunch of skills. It's not expected that you know all these things, especially <laughs> ever, if ever, especially not in the beginning. As I advise you, you come in with the core programming skills that's the key to all this and then you can do the research necessary to get into a specialized company like this so you get into cryptographic techniques such as hash and etc and you learn that it take you a week or so and then you can go in there sql you're going to see that rdbms relational database management systems that's like mysql and sql server and so on databases this is an old technology 30 40 years old it's going to be around for a long time. It's one of those key skill sets you got to learn. Of course, GitHub ID environments. That's our look at cryptocurrency or blockchain-based, rather, I'm going to say that, blockchain-based jobs in Canada. Same thing around the world, I would imagine. If you're going to take anything away from this video is that having a core understanding of programming, regardless of the language, is going to open up so many job opportunities and it's going to make learning the new stuff super easy. That's it for today. Bye-bye.